Following on from my other videos about the Nest thermostat, I'm going to show you now how to set the schedule on the thermostat itself and also using the app. The app is a lot easier than using the Nest because the Nest can be quite fiddly, but I'll show you how it's done now. So go into the settings menu, cross to schedule and click. It'll automatically come straight to the time that it is at the moment and then you can just work your way along and there's various things you can do here at the moment it's set to be 17 degrees so you can change that click it again change now you can, if you move side to side you can change the time if you click it again and go up and down you can change the temperature so set that to 17, click it again, you can add new ones, click there, anywhere on the screen, click new, and it drops in a temperature for you. You can move that anywhere you want, so we'll leave it at 645, press it again, and set it at the temperature we want. We might want it to be nice and toasty at 645 tonight, so we'll set it to 21. you can remove them so I'll remove that one and then it's disappeared then you work your way along you can go Saturday Sunday go all the way back to Monday if you wanted to add one for the middle of the day just click the screen click new it's all quite intuitive to be honest with you move it around see where you want it maybe midday press the screen change the temperature Press it again, and there it is set. As you can see, it's remained there. To come out of this, go to that screen. Just press that, and it's back to the main screen. I'm going to show you now how to set the schedule using the app. So this is the app home screen. So we want the living room thermostat, which is the only one we've got. Go on to schedule. At the bottom there. I'm going to flip this around. This is the main screen. As you can see, the schedule is already set up for me. And auto schedule will do that for you as well. But you may want to go in and alter it, fine tune it. So say, for example, you want to go into Monday, just click on Monday. And you want to add a new time for the heating to come on. Just click add, click roughly where you need it. So it's 12. You can move that back and forth. Using your finger. So, yeah, we want it at 12, and then you can also move it up and down as well. So we want it, say, at 21 degrees midday on Monday, and that's it done. And you can add another one if you want, maybe near 8 o'clock, add it in, hold your finger on it. Go up and down, so say 21. If you want to move it, just grab it, and you can move it side to side. So we say, no, we want it for 8.15. Just let go. And there was a set. If you want to remove any, click remove. If you want to alter any that are already there, just hold your finger on it like that, and it'll come out. You can change the temperature up and down. Or you can move it side to side which will change the time. You can also hold your finger anywhere on the screen and you can clear the day or you can copy the day. So if you click copy, because you know, for example, Monday to Friday you're always in work, you always want the same schedule each day, click copy, go back out of there, go into Tuesday, Hold that on there, click paste, and they're all the same now, so Monday and Tuesday will be exactly the same. You will find your schedule will fine tune and change without you doing it, that's the auto schedule at play. Overall, I find using the app much easier than using it on the Nest, and I'll be honest, apart from the first time I used it, I haven't used the Nest at all for setting the schedule. 
I always use the phone or the iPad and set them on there. So to come out of the schedule, just go back, just flip the phone around. So the other features of the app, apart from the schedule, are the heat function there. So it's either on heat, eco or off. And the history. And this will show you at a glance how much energy you've used each day. You can go on each one and it'll show you a little graph of when it was on and when it was off. And you can put them side by side to compare them for each day. If you go side to side on there, it'll flip between the inside humidity and the outside temperature. You've got the settings menu, which is very similar to the settings on the actual nest itself. And then of course you've got the temperature adjust. That should go orange now. There we go. That means that boilers now work in to heat the room. That's pretty much all you need to know about the Nest app. It is really easy to use. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos this year, so please subscribe.